Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming. I'm HBFT and we are here again with Stellaris. Right now we're sending a survey ship out to Spua so they can kind of take a look at one of the orbiting vessels out there. We've got Sienna's hard hat, which is heading over to with really because you can see that they've got 14 mineral out there. Man, it's going to be the day when we have three digit mineral coming in. That's going to be so amazing. I cannot wait because our conversions are going to be nuts. We're going to have alloy factories everywhere. It's going to just be rolling in. Everyone's going to be so happy with us. Unity's going to skyrocket. And next thing you know, everyone's just going to be begging to be our friend. That's how I see it rolling. After all, when it comes to little tiny ant eaters out in the distance, that's kind of how we do. Special, Special project. project complete. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were looking into giant like fossil skeletons or something. Our continued studies of the massive skeletal remains on Spuavia have managed to shed some light on how the creature ended up on the moon. There are very faint residual energy readings that indicate some kind of dimensional portal existed briefly towards the rear of the skeleton. Say what? Okay, let me read this again. There are very faint residual energy readings that indicate some kind of dimensional portal existed briefly towards the rear of the skeleton. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing, you know, this was maybe like a big trash panda from an alien race and they kind of said, we don't want you here. Use their special gateway and push them through a wormhole and it popped out out there and then it unfortunately died and perished. And now we have the privilege of picking up the remains. But I originally thought they meant they looked at its rear and saw a dimensional portal. I mean, quite frankly, it's, there's some kind of black hole back there and I'm sure it's not something that we want to dig into. So I don't think it's worth our time. Science officer Arjun the Arthropod theorizes the creature passed through this gateway from another dimension only to quickly perish in the hostile environment of Spuavia or Trash Panda. Why it did this and where it came from are questions that may never be answered. That's almost a joke. I mean, God, who was the... I feel like there's some kind of intergalactic troll on some intergalactic Reddit and they just pulled a huge troll post on us. I mean, good for them. CNS Lucky Lou has found an anomaly on Spua 3A. Oh, that's right. Well, we're going to leave it for now. It's hard and we only do easy things right now. <laughs> sounds so bad that's fine that's fine but what are we doing here we are now surveying spuavia well we now have the how hard this game is in the system that's fantastic i think right now if we take a look at our situation log science ship in orbit scientist is present where is this that's out here oh it's all the way in echo oh that's embarrassing i sent him in the wrong place okay well <laughs> Well, all right. Well, let's let's go and get that guy. Apparently, I sent him all the way across the galaxy. Well, you know, we just had a little bit of uh whoops. <laughs> hey, remember how hard this game is? Arjun, I think maybe you should take a vacation elsewhere. Maybe down here. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. <laughs> I just sent him like across the galaxy is like whoops, took a wrong turn. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it wasn't my fault. I don't know whose fault it was, but it definitely wasn't mine. Atmospheric anomaly. Yes, there's so many anomalies out in Spua. Go and Spua it up. We're just spooling up here. Unsurveyed system. He's still going in Berhinia. We've got two diamond rings. Man, that's great. I think diamond rings are so important. Everyone's going to get married and we're going to have a huge population boon. complete. Great. So we've upgraded our star base. That's right. We're trying to make Tazri one of the great star bases out there. Oh my God. We can put modules. That's awesome. A shipyard. Absolutely. Anchorage so that we can support the growth of our Navy. Gun batteries. Trade hubs. What buildings do we have? Disruption field generator, communication jammer, target uplink computer, collects and analyzes data from friendly sensor sources in system, resource silos and crew quarters. My gosh, incredible, incredible. Well, I think we should start with a shipyard. That's going to be great. Bam, just like that. And then right after that, an anchorage makes perfect sense. Great. Wow. Who would have thought it was that easy? You just have to have the resources to make it happen. We've got Derbiture the Pure. Unity's building some stuff. Echo Auditore out there is almost ready to go. What a colony. 
I can already tell it's going to be one of the best. All right. There we go. Echo Auditore. All right. So we can do buildings. Yes, I think alloy. <laughs> I just one alloy foundries features. Can we break any of these? Nope. We've got a lot of blockers, but hey, we're not going to let that stop us. Jose the Jolly is currently watching over it. I mean, he's doing a good job. I don't think we've got enough slots to get another one. We don't want that upkeep. So tell you what, city districts. Hello, nurse. Let's go. So we're building. We're building this city from minerals and from the ground up. That's right. Hopes end. I don't think so. We're going past hopes end. Although if we were hoping to find a big trash panda, I guess his hope was at the end and there was a big dimensional rift in it or a black hole. But that's kind of to be expected about the alien unknown out here. Yara was, Yara was it? No, we're going to try and we need to build something with the really, right? How hard this game is. What about where is CNS hard hat? What is it doing? Can we please build out here? Lacking 33 unity. Well, by the time you get out there, I'm sure we'll be so unified. Go ahead and head out there, my friend. Excellent. Good job. We'll see you in a decade. Overall, things are really shaping up. We're now taking a look at things like, you know, red lasers and stuff like that. Our home base is going to be Tazri Station. Can we rename that? Tazri seems a little, I don't know, mundane. Oh, yes. There we go. We need like... I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> see, my talents have run out. Sometimes creativity it runs dry so instead we're gonna do the great method of we're gonna do the newest backstreet arthropods okay cool sometimes the backstreet boys they live on in all of us Let's get Ezio Auditore. We can make buildings too, but we don't have enough minerals. So we're, we're slowly doing this. Yeah. System survey Great. complete. Okay. So let's hold again. Newly founded colony. Absolutely. Berehenia system has been fully surveyed. All right, man. Everything's going along like clockwork. Amazing. So definitely want to bring that in as an outpost. Let's go in and continue to survey. If we could, there's unknown here. Let's survey then survey then survey and oh i guess that's not it is that it hang on so we'll go shift click oh i guess hang on so right click and survey and then right click and survey okay we'll just do it like that that seems fair okay great we're moving along we're looking at things our hyperlanes are getting connected we currently have an outpost here. I mean, this is... Ooh, swirling shadow. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Bua Va's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Say what now? Science officer, no photos, no pictures is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. I mean, it sounds like they're very artistic people who used to live there and they make giant shadow puppet theater. That's what I would do if I could control the clouds. Uh, you wouldn't call it flora or fauna, you would just call it amazeballs. I think soft chapeau. Currently moving to with really. Okay. And then we've got CNS. Oh, nope. Soft Chapeau is here. Anomaly found. Ancient shipyard. An ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. It's going to be challenging and will take 300 days. That sounds cool. I mean, I could, I guess I will commit you to a lifetime of study and discovery. That's right. So you're, you're going to go there. You're very safe there. Trust me. Uh, right now, we are going with CNS Hard Hat with Rilly, and we are going to go with CNS Shaf Soft Chapeau, and we're going to build a star base out here. There we go. It uses up a lot of unity, but hey, we need to secure this system right here. It's one of the main points of entry into our great nation. 
Unfortunately, then that'll mean that we won't have enough to get out there in with really, but that's okay. It can wait. And right now, our technologies, we are zooming along 16 months from having fleet supremacy. That's what I like to see. I really want to bring this in. It has an archaeological site. Oh, we haven't dug up any of those yet. Those might be helpful. Newest backstreet Arthur. <laughs> I forgot about that. Wow, how short my memory is. Derbiture Station. Yes, yes, I love it. I love it. Okay, so... Man, everything's going along swimmingly. We're not being attacked. I mean, we made friends with our... Oh, we should probably talk to our buddies, shouldn't we? Let's go to the contacts. How y'all doing? Unavailable. Minus 47. That's got to change. What is Woo Woo doing? Let's go to our diplomacy. Woo Woo... Communication from all your vessels will be blocked. None of you are free of sin. What? Cannot assign leader to the same occupation commanding the blessed human state. I mean, Woo Woo, what are you doing? You want to give me a report here? All right, that's... The espionage tab shows how our envoys are building spy networks within other empires. You can exit. I guess I can also spy on them? Is that good? Send an envoy who will work on building a spy network within their civilization. I mean, Jean-Paul Hébert is kind of the dark side of our envoy system. We're not really talking to anybody, and he's just kind of sitting there. He might as well build out a spy, net spy network. Not that I know anything about that, but I'm sure he'll he's up for the job. Uh, he has great qualifications. I mean, Jean-Paul, he would fit in anywhere. I don't even know... Yeah. Component slots available. This star base can support the construction of additional modules and or buildings. So we do need resources. We are building Anchorage here. Buildings. So curious. Generates localized fields of agitated subatomic particles around hostile ships, significantly reducing the effectivity of their shields. That sounds awesome. Community powerful jammers interfere with enemy ship to ship comms, making it difficult to coordinate fleet movements. Advanced targeting computers that collect and analyze data makes it far easier for the starbase to achieve targeting solutions. Resource silos. Okay, and then crew quarters for spaceship crews reducing logistical burden. Dock ship upkeep minus 25%. Oh my god, that sounds awesome. All right, let's... We're, we're trying to save our resources here. Oh my god, we have 312 alloy. Amazing, amazing. Well, actually... You know, one of the bunnies talked about, they were kind of mentioning, hey, you know what? Doing auto best is not the best. Maybe you should try your hand at doing a ship design. That sounds great. I think if we do a ship design, we're going to come up with something great. He said, you know, you can probably have things that make sense. I don't know what makes sense, but, you know, we're going to we're going to do a thing. All right. So let's go in and take a look at this. So here we are in the newest Backstreet Arthropod Boys. And we're going to go open ship design. Uh, no, that's not it. We can do... We can... How do we do this? <laughs> oh, fleet management. That's right. Fleet management. We want a template. We're going to go add a ship. Corvette. It's all we know. Oh, nope. That's not it. Okay, hang tight. I mean, right? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll come... Oh, ship designer. Oh, my God. There it is. Okay, great. Great. Defense platform. Components will be unlocked as we research new technologies. All right. Let's make the best defense platform that we can. Here we go. Here's a defense platform clear all component slots ship roll let's not auto upgrade or actually we'll clear all component slots list of components nano composite armor deflectors so energy deflector screens can stop a limited amount of incoming enemy fire before overloading their main drawback is they consume large amounts of power nano composite armor Reinforced nanocomposite hull plating can provide an extra layer of protection that could be the difference between life and death in a combat situation. It feels like... So, if I add a deflector, what happens on the stats on the right? Bam. And we'll go... Boom. Shields went up 190. The cost goes up. The upkeep goes up, right? If we were to clear... And we did nanocomposite armor... This went up even higher, and it costs more... Now our armor's 250. Now it goes down to zero. So it's 250 armor. This gets us 190 shields, which is like temporary armor-ish. Yeah. 
but it's cheaper upkeep, cost less. So if we wanted to have massive cheap power plus 130, I see. So it's using up a lot of available power. I bet at some point the guns is basically just going to be a big shield with no guns. But let's take a look. So we'll close that. We'll choose here. Red lasers or coil guns. So if we look at a red laser and drop that in, it uses some power. Does it talk about the output at all? I'm just seeing power used in the cost go up. So what's what's a laser weapons fire focus beams of light at targets causing damage to the generation of intense heat. Hover over size icon to see detailed information. What if we clear that out? Oh, I see damage is down here. Okay, so if we did a red laser, we get 5.05 damage. If we do a coil gun, 7.54 damage. And it uses up, so we go from 70 down to 53, and a red laser is 70 to 57, so it uses less power but less output. Okay, okay. So if we want the most po damage possible, I'm guessing the coil gun's really expensive. We go 148 to 168, so 20, and coil gun 174. That's not too bad. So if we went maximum output like this, we currently have plus two power. If we did, what is this? Reactor booster, additional power generation increases the ship's reactor output. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing it increases the power available. It does. So if we wanted to have more shields and things like that. So if we selected this and got like a better, more deflectors because they're cheaper. It would draw more power. We can actually remove this. We're still at plus two. Fusion reactor. We have the best radar system, the best basic computer. Okay, so this is like the highest output and we have, we're almost like, neutral we have like no armor whatsoever so maybe we'll add one and then we'll just that way it's uh yeah so this is this is going to be a thing <laughs> this is going to be the um the glass cannon class defense platform yes that sounds great or yeah okay that's awesome can we save this that looks awesome this is going to be our new template i love it when we actually get to the point where we can build these things They're, they seem really expensive <laughs> they seem really expensive but you know what that's the price of freedom is expensive let's go over to our deneb station i'm curious if we can actually do actually fleet management what about the ships i'd like to take a look at the corvettes too ship designer so we've got the glass cannon awesome if we look at the cost of the glass cannon, it's 262, the exemplary, 258. Oh, and they've got excess power. What are they doing? My God, so silly. And our output is way better. Wow, incredible. We got the horizon. Let's make a new Corvette. Why not? We can't build frigates yet. Select a section. So best fusion reactor, hyperdrive, sure. Chemical thrusters, yep, yep, yep. Okay, great, select a section. Uh, how? <laughs> Let's go with, what's the horizon look like? Oh, they've got stuff here. Oh, and you can choose. How do they do that? Well, let's go new design, Corvette. Autocomplete. Yeah, how do they do that? Right click to show list of components, right click to remove that component. They were able to add stuffs. Click to change section. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. So we did new design, Corvette, no section. We want interceptor or picket ship. Okay. So you get more weapon slots. What's the P slot? I don't know. P for picket? That's the main difference. The P slot is Sentinel Point Defense. Ah. Flak Battery. Okay. That's awesome. And then these are red lasers, nuclear missiles. Oh my God. 
100% shield penetration. Okay, let's not get too in the weeds on this because we just don't have the resources right now. But that's so cool and good to know that I can send nukes at my enemies, right? That's so important. I'm glad that we have that up our sleeve for when times get dire. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and queue that up so we can get more alloys. That's right, because war is all about having the alloys and the logistics to make it happen. So right now we have, ooh, hello, spy network established. Reports have started coming in from spy master Jean-Paul Hébert. <laughs> Assigned to the blessed human state. This marks the beginning of our very first spy network within a foreign empire. Though we may look alike on the surface, we shall soon discover just how these particular humans might differ from ourselves. You know what's kind of crazy? Excellent. You know what's kind of crazy is that, like, they actually recognized that we shall discover, though we may look alike on the surface, that's really kind of ingenious. I, I, I think it's a nice touch. So what are we doing here? So Soft Chapeau is building a star base on Berahinia. System we are now looking into a very difficult thing in surveying. We've got CNS Hard Hat, who is going to build as soon as we have enough unity. And then Spua has just finished taking a look at all of this here unsurveyed system let's come back we're going to survey some more we got to finish the job yep got to finish all the stuffs and then out here hold we have enough unity to adopt a new tradition is that so oh this isn't unity it's influence oh wow i didn't realize this this is influence oh wow okay i was thinking yeah of course that's unity well let's go over to our traditions expansion Starbase influence cost, new colonies. Oh, yes, this is kind of dogging us right now. We absolutely need to reduce our influence cost for Starbase. What about now? We are a lot less, like 20 less. That's awesome. That is so helpful. Well, tell you what, if we go to Echo, you're going to see that Echo Auditore has a der derelict ship out here. We're going to go in and select not the Looky Lou. Actually, where's the next one? Can we choose the next ship? Nope. How does this work? I wish I could just cycle through the ships, but, you know, worst comes to worst, and we'll go to our ships here. Or we're going to find the... Remember how hard this is, and we're going to send over and research that project. That's right. There we go. So now they're going to go to the derelict ship and take care of business. I hope. Is that working? Yes! Awesome. While conducting their survey of Litterin 4A, the CNS Ignorance's Bliss detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old, and it seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage. But one of its manufacturing bays is still in working condition. Science officer Maxim the Maximushkin <laughs> is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant Situation project. Log updated. That sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah, let's let's get producing out there. I mean, obviously it'll take resources, which we're a little bit low on at the moment, but I'm assuming it's Maxim Maximushkin here. He's doing a fantastic job. Uh, and it's out here and he's still surveying. Okay, great. Good. Keep up the good work, buddy. You are the Maximus. The crew of the Special ship has complete. The crew of the ship has been found dead. What is more disturbing is they appear to have been killed by some highly advanced brain parasites. Ugh. I mean, that doesn't look like us. That can't be us. Which infested them and drove them mad. Thanks to science officer Arjun the Arthropod's findings, we were able to protect our own crew from being infected. Well, good. Can we destroy that ship and break into a thousand pieces in a neighboring empire or something? Complete. Well, that's... that's yeah that's pretty that's pretty unfortunate unclaimed system unclaimed system unsurveyed system and then we've got it out here i think we are unclaimed let's start surveying out there go for it buddy you've got my permission yep so we finished our base out here we now have enough we uh, we're close almost there let's go ahead and return Berahinia. gosh well I guess we'll go back to Beyond the Zat. Yeah. We're able to build which one? A module in our Backstreet Boys. Wow. All right. So we filled this out already. Incredible. Well, if we have more, we can even pump that up farther. 
We've got defenses if we want to build something. 262. I mean, we should definitely build a, maybe a couple of glass cannons. Sure. What's the upkeep, though? Piracy suppression, 2. Shield recharge rate, 6. Uh, let's build one. <laughs> I'm so... I'm so hesitant about building stuff that we'll never use, but hey, at least I'll feel more secure. <laughs> that's, that's how that works. Yep. Uh, we should probably be building more like Corvettes. We need frigates for heaven's sake, but we don't have that on the technology, do we? Yeah, we're one month away from being supreme with our fleets, and we're 89 months from having blue Research lasers, complete. which are the best, obviously. Okay, so hold. Starbase construction complete. Great. And technology researched Fleet Supremacy. Great. Unlocks clearing tile blockers. Naval capacity from soldier jobs. Defense army damage. Edict fund. I mean, tile blockers would be great. We have so many energy credits. We got to use those things. I don't know how else to use them at the moment. Yeah. The ghost ships are just chilling. I don't like that. That's, that's a little unnerving. Well, you know, it is what it is. So how are we doing here? Oh, we are paused. Okay, so we're moving to Beyond the Zot. That's great. We are still surveying and then we'll push on. We have no orders because we're just waiting for 15 more influence. And then we've got surveys of an unknown system and surveying of Yoravwas. Great. They're all not idle. Soft Chapeau is a little bit idle. Our fleets right here should be docked, I think. System survey. I don't know if there's a specific way to dock, actually. Let's take a look. Strike force recklessness is here. Command limit usage up to 50 ships. That's crazy. Man, we really need to. Can we reinforce this? I mean, they'll all be Corvettes, though. Mm, let's hang tight. So we got Yurovoas fully surveyed. That's great. So that means that Lucky Lou needs an assignment. Uh, we could push out. Let's go here. Because if we can kind of converge right here, that'd be great. So we'll survey and let's go. Right now, I believe we have enough. Starbase is two. We need two more influence. So we need 105 total. We're getting three. There's 107. Great. We have enough. Bam. There it is. I love it. This is going to be interesting because it's going to just peek way out here. Oh, you mean we don't have to build an outpost in every... Hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute. If all of a sudden we build an outpost here and it just extends our borders and it automatically brings your avoas into our, like, our, I don't know, influence, that would blow my mind because I've been wasting resources everywhere. <laughs> you could you could essentially survey out, then build out here and just go loop and then grab everything in between. I don't know if that's how that works, but that's... That would be crazy. Complete. So hang on. Ah, oh, see, it's separate. Okay, so you do. I'm. You have to build outposts in each system. That that's fine. Good. I'm. I was a little nervous there that I've been wasting all these resources. I mean, I probably am wasting resources. Well, let's see. So way out here in the boonies, commercial zone, civilian, autocaton, monuments, culture, administrative offices. I don't. I honestly am not entirely sure. I feel like we should get our industrial districts built because this has quite a lot out here, but we do have minerals. We should probably be building a mining station. Yes, 500, but we're going to get 14 mineral. That's terrifyingly awesome is what that is. So let's keep pushing. Our ship's still 382. Technology-wise, when are we getting those amazing blue lasers? We've got torpedoes. Unlock ship type frigate. Oh, that's going to be so great. Then we can add frigates to the mix. And we're going to have the best glass cannon ships out there that can't take a hit. System survey <laughs> complete. All right. We're just surveying like crazy. Let's go in and get that one, too. So it's going to close the loop. Maybe we can actually get here anywhere. Like Then we could just man up here, man up there. That'll be great. I, I would dig it. Then we don't have to spread all over the place. Let's go to Yurov Was. Uh, they're making the mining station. We've got Soft Chapeau. They'll head on out over here. I don't know how much it's going to take. Our influence does not build very quickly. Hold. 
fully surveyed great. So, I wonder how the pre-FTL civilization is doing. I wonder if, can we like look at Atlas? Will they sort of report back? Atlas 1, you can kind of see, oh my god, they are more advanced than we are. That's really embarrassing. Okay, well, I don't feel like looking at it anymore. We've got Deneb. Anomaly found. Massive impact. A colossal impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of this planet once. Sure, it's routine. You probably take a look at it and say, yeah, it was a big giant space baseball. Found an anomaly. Great. Do it up, buddy. Do it up. Hopefully it's a dead end and we don't have to keep... Oh, wow. It's in the center of this galactic invasion of some kind. Still, Krennis. Oh, look at them go. Man, they're all like giant eyeballs that look like they belong in Metroid Prime. Well, uh, one day, bunnies, one day we'll be able to wipe them out and take all their minerals. Oh, they're worth minerals. I forgot. All right. We definitely need to... We can't wait for any frigates to come online. How are those torpedoes again? 16 months? 16 months too long. Let's go ahead and build out on our fleet management. Oops. Fleet management. We've got strike force recklessness. We're going to 10. That's right. We're going to 10. Bam. Just like that. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, we still have more alloys. We're fine. We're fine. This is okay. Yeah, we're moving. FTL impact. A massive crater on distal one appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that a ship exiting a hyperlane at maximum velocity rammed the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. Let me tell you, drinking and dry, drinking and flying, drinking and FTL travel, it doesn't mix. The CNS Remember How Hard This Game Is has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site reminiscent of a collapsed hyperparticulate field. But as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. Well, I mean, I don't know what happens to the ship when it atomizes into a billion particles, but you know what? It's probably pretty spectacular, so I'm sure whoever was on the planet had quite the light show and then promptly went extinct. But hey, that leaves room for us, right? So we've got more buildings. We are not on the queue because we are going to use this let's go for the commercial zones holo the let's get luxury residences why not i mean they deserve some homes reinforcements in transit great that's what we like to see they're coming where are they being built are they in deneb or are they in tazri intel fool actually yeah okay so they're that makes sense they're actually being built in tazri that's good those are the that's where the best ships are built in tazri I wish... Wait. So Tazri's the system? Okay, <laughs> it's the star. I thought... Wait, I thought I named that the newest Backstreet Arthropods. Okay, so... There we go. Playful ruins. Impressive structures litter a small area on the surface of Yanfar Ib, practically begging for archaeological work. Well, the nice thing is... Take a look at this. We've got scientist class anomaly discovery chance. This guy's so good at it. Go for it, buddy. You're only going to get better, and that means you're going to be so good at this. Rivalry. Declare rivalry. Diplomatic communication from the blessed human state. Let us end this charade. They are the, our rival. What? Relative power. They are stronger than us. We may need allies to offset this advantage. What does that even... What? What happened? Was it Jean-Paul Hebert? Minus six. Oh, it's gone horribly wrong. What the? Can we please talk about One this? Of our envoys is now building a spy network within this empire. You know what? They probably found out about our stuffs. Non-aggression pack. That sounds great. The galaxy presents enough threats. Whoa, they really don't like that. Holy crap. Well, let's cancel that. That's horrible. Uh... We can't establish an embassy. Can we improve relations? I thought we were already doing that. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing they found out about our spy network because Jean-Paul Hébert isn't as good as I thought he was. My gosh, that's horrible. The spy network already is a spy master. See the espionage tab for spy network information. Current infiltration, 24 out of 50. Maximum infiltration, 50. 
Now that our spy network has reached a sufficient level, Ooh. we launch operations against this empire. Ooh, that's not These good. These are arranged in categories with different types of operations. I just want information. That's it. Launch the operation. Our operatives will compile information on the blessed human state delivering an intel report when complete. It'll also expose vulnerabilities that will increase our maximum infiltration level for some time. Uh, well... There are no available assets. Assets are gained through the acquire asset operation or through events. Target information, they're stronger. Encryption is routine. Commence when ready. Oh my god, what are we doing? Are we about to kill ourselves? <laughs> I just wanted to talk friendly. And then next thing you know, they're declaring a rivalry. That's not a good sign. All right. Well, that's terrifying. Hopefully, we'll be able to take them out, get a bunch of minerals, dump them into ships, and then we'll be safe. Yeah? That's not how that works, I'm sure. Well, let's see. Let's let's buff this up farther. We're at 573. We probably could have done this a while ago, actually. If we were to buff this up to, like, 20, reinforce. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're just, we're just going. We're going to take that higher. Because if we can take them out, that's going to help us a lot, right? So how are we doing here? Come on, guys. We got to pick up the pace. It seems like the other humans don't like us. Ooh, look at that. We can see the remnants of their borders. Found. Uh, sorry, buddy. You can look at a massive impact another time. Please keep going. We need you to survey like crazy, like your life depends on it. Hold. Reinforcements. Anomaly found. Great. We need to connect this. Build a an outpost there yes please all right so that's happening we have the mining station it's happening our minerals are coming in a little better abandoned amusement park okay the structures on john far ib are not as old as we first believed it is a playground or amusement park of some sort science officer maxim the maximushkin notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from, and that from the builder's alien point of view, this might have been a cutting edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless to us humans, it looks mostly like a place where you take your young and let them amuse themselves. Gosh. I saw that the last time, and it still strikes me as very odd. Uh, well, hopefully we shall learn from last time and not let that complete. happen. We shan't squander our chances at uh, discovering more about the world. Complete the construction of a mining station. That's great. CNS hard hat at it again. That's incredible. Uh, we probably need to bring this in to... complete. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello. New research. We can make frigates complete. now. That's so great. So what do we got? Planetary build speed, empire modifier, planetary build speed. Rapid iteration and construction simulations determines the optimal component assembly pattern for each building project ahead of time. Unlocks afterburners for additional combat speed or minerals from miners and starbase constructions have risen. Ooh, fracking. Oh, I feel icky inside, but I'm gonna do it. Oh boy. Well, you know, Sometimes you got to do what you got to do and shove random trash pandas through dimensional portals. And now we have the geothermal frack. I mean, uh, sometimes you make deals with the devil. Huh? Oh, well, ah, that's life. That's life out here on the rim and edge of the galaxy. Uh, we've got our Saf Chapeau. They're doing their thing. They made it. Great job. I guess we'll come on back. Not too much to grab i guess we could build research stations and stuff they only cost a hundred sure we'll take is this yeah no that's from helos that's great and then we can also get more research here in tazri and astrakhan as well yeah so that's building and we might as well i guess boost our way forward get a hundred on astrakhan and then that's going to move our technology and our research even faster. I probably should have been doing that from the get-go. Research is like one of those things where the earlier you can do it, the better. But at the same time, you still need to be secure. So it's a weird sort of balance, right? We have 116 alloy. We have 3.7k apples, food. And then we've got a lot of energy credits, but we don't have the technology to clear certain blockers yet. Are there any habitable planets out here? 
I mean, there's like semi potentially habitable, but I would assume that when we're looking at the features, we don't know how to clear a lot of it. So one day, one day we'll be able to terraform the heck out of those guys. Yeah. Beyond that, we got plus 35 mineral. I mean, it's already looking a little bit better. I'm, I'm quite pleased. I guess we can make more alloy foundries. Yeah. So we'll go out here. Nope. Empire capital. Ooh, enough to adopt a new tradition for expansion. Empire size from systems versus starbase upkeep minus 20%. Colonization fever for additional population. I think reducing our star base upkeep would be great. System survey. I'm very one track minded right now. System survey. That's great. That's in Jianfar out here. So obviously if we can get down here, that'll be great. This is now unclaimed. And this, this is the point right here. If we can limit System our survey. contact Complete. to this point and that point as we border our supposed rivals, that would be awesome. We finished up here and then we'll extend out that way. So slowly but surely. Life form encountered. Ooh, hold, hold, hold. Hostile fleets present. Oh my God. Sapphire Crystal Shardling. What the heck is this? All right, vacate the premises, buddy. Yeah, we got to get get back. Oh my god, there's Yeah, I'm glad they're there cuz that means whoever's got to do it, they got to come right through. So get out of there, buddy. I don't want Maxim the Maximushkin. He's one of our best, you know what I mean? He's got to go. Get out there safely. Oh my gosh, that was that was terrifying. Glad you're safe, buddy. Good job. Don't worry about it. Why don't you rest and relax a little bit? System survey. We'll complete. actually get you out to maybe do some something you're good at, like discovering anomalies, right? You're really good at that. Sapphire Lurkers. I wish I could start some kind of. Isn't there. Is it contacts? I think. Where we try to discover more. Construction ship in orbit. Repair automated shipyard. What is this? The remains of an old automated shipyard. Oh, that one. Where is that again? That's in Litirin. Research time. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Well, we got a guy who's perfect for it. We're talking about the best. Maxim Maximushkin. He's just got to get out over here, right? Excellent. Go for it, buddy. You've got this. I believe in you. System survey, great, awesome. Looks like it's a bit of a dead end. That's what I like to hear. We might as well finish that one up. There we go. We've got some unsurveyed things out here. Currently at 46 influence. How do we raise that? Like making claims and building outposts. Oh, okay. Well, we're trying to build outposts, but you know, it costs influence. So there's that. Out here, anomalies. We've got construction. They're moving all the way. Oh, they're building the research station. That's what it is. 390. I mean, how are we doing with our fleet out here? We're 15 out of 50 right now. My God, that's impressive. It's a lot better than what we had going on before. So we have three colonies right now, yeah? Etcho. I guess we can build another city district. It's going to take 60 more. We need to be at 450 to build another city district and thus expand in that colony. And then for Tazri, in order to upgrade our star base, we need 500. That's right. 500 alloy. My gosh, that might be a, a little bit much right now. We need this, these ships to be kicking. Yep. So let's go over to our fleet management. If we wanted to reinforce it all, bam. There's three more. We're just bleeding it dry. We're going to be as powerful as we can. Our fleet right now is 955 incredible might. Oh, we might be able to take on one of their fleets. That's right. Slowly but surely, we shall arise. Looky Lou is now still surveying. We've got Maxim Maximushkin over there to take a look at things at the shipyard. We've got Lisbon out there to survey, and we've got CNS Hardhat. Both of Soft Chapeau and Hardhat are out there to make research stations, so we can actually speed this up a little bit. We actually have more minerals now. We need to hit 450. We're going to be able to build another building. 
should that be something that is amicable and in line with our goals. Unity is a population of 37. We've got six and three. So obviously our capital is, is kicking it, right? Complete. Construction complete for research. That's great. Let's continue to expand. We'll do the easy ones. Uh, I guess we can get Yannick's Maw. That is the dark matter in it. We could do this right here. We'll build out there. I, I want to do this, but this is such an easy one to protect. So I'm just going to hang on to that. Ooh, this has alloys? You can mine alloys directly? Wow, that's that's something. That is something. That is so cool. Well, I'm I'm all about that. 456 unity man 640 minerals my gosh we're squandering opportunities here we gotta build some city districts holy crap wow still not too sure maybe we need to do more with the food represents the various nutrients required to sustain and grow population you can gain more by building agricultural districts or buying more on the market we don't need more we need to consume it and turn it into something else more alloys. Let's go over to our fleet management. I think we can finally round out our fleet at 20. Reinforce just like that. Now we're going to be at a full 20. That is truly, truly awe-inspiring, right? Complete. Construction complete research station. All right, man. Things are coming together. I'm feeling it. We haven't been attacked yet. That's always a plus. <laughs> Not dying is a plus going to be 17 more influence we have so much because we're expanding our web i don't want to claim anything discoveries the relic screen allows us to view and activate our relics oh yeah we don't have any of those decisions making that's cool well let's see right now now that we're in this system we need to get our boy maximaximushkin head on over here i want you to work on this do your thing Construction. Oh, we need a construction ship. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. I sent Maxim all the way out here. Oh wait, we've got soft chapeau. What are we doing? My God, why don't you work on that? Yeah, go for it, soft chapeau. You've got this. I believe in you. All right, Maxim. Glad that you were able to completely escort that guy to the right place. Thank you so much for your service. Uh, right now, <laughs> right now we're gonna go out to um, I don't know, an archaeological site. I know that we had one guy who was really good at at chewing through archaeological sites so if we go to leaders and scientists we have research speed we've got archaeology archaeology excavation speed no photos no pictures that guy's perfect for it i think he's out here right arjun the arthropod nope there's no photos but he's kind of doing his thing right now so swapping places would just be a little bit obscene i think i don't, I don't think that's right i'm not going to do that to him so we're just going to move over here and uh, he can do his thing. It says we can't excavate the site. Why is that? Cannot excavate archaeological sites outside your empire. Oh, yeah, see, that's a problem, too. Right now, Soft Chapeau is doing their thing, and our hard hat is doing nothing. We might as well bring it into the folds. So we're going to move there first. And in advance, I'm actually going to get Ignorance is Bliss. We're going to move on out over here. That way, by the time it's done, Maybe we're going to have our best archaeologists out there and available. So that's going to be something to look forward to for sure. Because I'm sure we're going to find some incredible power. Maybe Voltron or something within the depths of Wu. <laughs> Is that how you pronounce that? Wu? How would you do that? Construction Woo. complete. Well, Wu Wu. That's that's good. We already have Wu Wu that we've assigned over to our human non-ally rivals there we go so we're we're building this place it's great repair automated shipyard great great doing a fantastic job and we're on our way out system We've... survey complete. yes he's ready already just like that we're actually going to send our best out here there we go we've detected life signs on cost uh sorry we'll leave that be for now yeah good job good job we are bustling just moving along, no problem. We have 530 mineral. That's incredible. We'll tell you what. First things first. I think it's a monumental day. We are going to move on out 
and go and attack Romans the Reckless is for the first time going to send his fleet into battle. That's right. Let's see how this goes. This is very exciting. I've been waiting for this moment right here. System survey complete. All right. Surveying Lizwin. Great. Good job. Hang tight. Let's survey out there. Why not? Survey out there. Great. All right. So fortunately, our ships are moving. They have a right hold. So we have combat. That's right. We have combat. We're just going to crush these guys. Let's do it. Can you engage? We want to be an aggressive formation. Fleet stance is not passive. They are aggressive. Let's go. Oh, okay. this is exciting. I want to see this. Oh, look at us go. Oh my God. We're so cool. We have red lasers, red lasers. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Oh, this is a first for us. We're kind of winning. <laughs> Emerald roamers. Goodbye. Say hello to the might of the totally human time project. We have a special project with a time limit. Consider starting it so we do not miss the opportunity. Combat hostile fleet present. What is this? Requires a science ship. Oh, because we're destroying things. Okay, we should probably... Who's the closest science ship? They're way out there, aren't they? Looky Lou, I'm sending out here. Well, Looky Lou, it's going to take a while, but can you get over here? <laughs> oh, God. Yep, there's that. All right, moving. Come on, guys. Hang in there, buddies. I believe in you. I believe in you. Yes! Special project complete. Oh my god. The CNS Soft Chapeau has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard over Latirin Eva. The facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order using what materials it had on hand to build three advanced raiders of an unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent crews to the new ships and commissioned them into our fleet. Oh my god, we've got new battleships. Oh, I don't know what they are, but I'm very excited about it. If we pause for a second, we can see that we've got strike force. We've got new ships, raider ships of incredible might. 393 and three ships. Oh, that's terrifying. Maybe we can add their technology to ours. I'm so excited about this. All right, guys. Did you do it? You did it. I'm so proud of you. Can you please repair... Move to the closest star fleet for repairs. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Good job. Good job. My gosh. So proud of you. You little guys really showed them. That's some heart right there. Wow. Incredible. Well, I'm hoping that our science vessels will get there in time to pick up the debris and inc Oh my God. Look at our minerals. Wow. 2.1K. Amaze balls. Declare right. I don't. You already did. No, I don't want to be a rival. Nobody needs to be a rival here, okay? Nope, we don't need to be rivals. We can be friends. Why can't we be friends? 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 We be friends? <laughs> Has Cassius Belli on Commonwealth of Totally Human. So what are they talking about? Has closed borders to Commonwealth of Totally Human. I mean, so you're... Isn't Cassius Belli when you make a claim? Why are you claiming us? Oh, that's so rude. You want a trade deal or something? My gosh. Can you... This is the trade screen. We can trade any type of resource with okay. an empire, as well as information and uh, I don't know what to give you, though. Resources. Have food. I don't know. Have... There you go. And you can give us... Who knows what you'll give us. Have 40 food. <laughs> Their willingness to trade is a base of 75% due to evangelizing Zealot's personality. Okay. Well, isn't that good? Trans... Oh my gosh. I don't know what they're looking for. Do they want Beyond Desert... Communication from all your vessels to be blocked. None of you are free of sin. What? What is your problem? They can build temples. They can have strength. Have we gathered info yet? Do we know anything about these guys? Do we have to keep gathering information? 
launch it. Sure. I don't know if this is working. <laughs> I don't know if this is working. I feel like a fight's coming. So, well, we have more minerals now. I'm not going to declare rivalry on you. We have time until our ships can get there. We have our fleets going back for repair. We have new ships out here, right? They're here. Raider ships. CNS Spectre. CNS Ghost. CNS Wraith. The R44 class. I wish... Really? My god, look at this. UV lasers. Small improved deflectors. Hyperdrive. Oh my god. Things are beasts. Well, let's, let's bring them back to our capital. We need to make sure we're safe, right? Maybe over to, um, yeah, to Deneb. Let's go. That'd be great. We need to consolidate our forces and strike fear in the hearts of anthropods out there. Arthropods, sorry. Science ship. How's, how's our guy doing? Is he coming? Though it rightfully belongs to us, the blessed human state is audaciously laid claim to the Berehinia system. Oh my gosh, really? It's happening again. Okay, well... Looks like we better start turtling up here. So we need to... Ah, oh boy. I wanted to avoid this. 200. Let's go in and upgrade our starport. It might be a little late for that. Maybe we need to relocate some of our stuff. Foreign Empire... It's happening. <laughs> Golly, really? Oh, I thought we were doing so well until they decided to claim stuff that is rightfully ours. Yep. I'm thinking we need to... Well, ignorance is bliss. I mean, you've got these guys out here. So they're probably not going to go through there. They're probably going to go straight through beyond the Zot, right? So tell you what. Let's... So no orders on Kosk. Oh, ignorance is bliss isn't moving? My God, what are you doing, man? Let's go. Chip chop. Chip chop. You got to get there. It's it's so soon. Confidence wavers. A group of auxiliary operatives in the blessed human state has begun shying away from their assigned tasks, citing a lack of confidence in their overall purpose. Spymaster Jean-Paul Hébert would typically handle such matters without bringing them to our attention, but even without them knowing any details, these operatives seem unusually well informed about Operation Gather Information and perhaps the spy network as a whole. You know, Jean-Paul... <laughs> you failed me for the last time, Jean-Paul. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Given that these auxiliaries are kept isolated from our more active and better informed agents, Jean-Paul Hébert suspects the operatives are being fed information from an outside source. He also concedes that they may simply be highly perceptive individuals. Oh, really? Given these doubts and the threats posed to Operation Gather Information by each scenario, Spymaster Jean-Paul Hébert requests a directive on how to proceed. The risks are too great. Cut them loose. Let us see where these insights may lead. One of two options will happen. 50% chance of the event unwavering insight happens in five days, or 50% chance of panicked operatives or lost auxiliary operatives modifier added for 12 months. Energy credit lost of 600. And we kind of have a surplus, and I unfortunately haven't been able to do too much with it, so the safest thing to do is probably to cut it loose. Five days, either we have unwavering insight. 50-50. Man, I guess we might as well roll the odds. Let's roll the dice. Let's see where it goes. This could be bad. Oh, all right. There we go. Now we know. Unwavering insight. Under the incredible leadership of HBFT and, of course, the Grand Fajal, our auxiliary operatives in the blessed human state have applied themselves with unusual fervor. Upon learning that their once intangible suspicions were founded in a real cause, after all, Spymaster Jean-Paul Hébert maintains a strict information quarantine, but reports that this his supply lines have never been smoother. Très excellent. Incroyable. All right. Man, I had all the faith in that guy. Glad we put him the right arthropod on the job. That's right. Ooh, that rhymes. It sounds great. Fully repaired. That's right. Oh my god, what the heck was that? Did someone invade? What was that? Did we see something here? I saw something move. Oh, that's our science ship. <laughs> I'm so jumpy. I keep thinking we're going to get owned in the face. I mean, it still may happen. 
All right, we're going to relocate the beyond the zat. And we got to make this get over to... Oh, man. They got to get back to Deneb, huh? Deneb isn't even secured as it is. We're currently upgrading here. Repairs completed. Great. We have a special project. We have limited time. Limited time only. We're, we're getting back there with no photos, no pictures. And so we kind of have doubled up. We'll get over to Behenia. All right, moving. We've got Spua. They're moving out to Research survey. Complete. Hold. Tradition. Expansion. Courier network. Starbase upkeep. Population. Building upkeep. District upkeep. I mean, lowering upkeep, so it's awesome. But what about domination? Worker population resource output. No, thank you. Supremacy, naval capacity, army damage, trade projection, population upkeep, population housing usage, diplomatic grants, map the stars, anomaly research speed. I'm honestly, we need supremacy. I mean, it's, it's kind of been going that way. I mean, they're claiming stuff. I'm already seeing they've got, they're declaring rivalry. We've completed the research of blue lasers. Oh my God, that's what we're talking about. Now we can choose a new thing. We'll have the best lasers. We have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Kastan system. A rift in the very fabric of space-time is formed here, creating a wormhole that our scientists speculate may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow a ship to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through it would be ripped apart in seconds. If it could somehow be stabilized. Ooh. Survey speed increase. That's great. Research speed, great. Capacity subsidies and energy grid. Whoa. Uh-oh. I just wanted to... Okay. Spymaster Jean-Paul Hébert recently launched a quiet investigation into his own operatives in the Blessed Human State. After noticing a recent drop in their performance, he has discovered these operatives skimming from resources allocated to intelligence gathering and bribes. These goods and currencies are being reinvested elsewhere in human business concerns, earning the operatives a comfortable profit at our expense. As a result, their retention and loyalties have clearly become divided. Progress on Operation Gather Information has been put on hold for the moment until Spymaster Jean-Paul Hébert can reassert operational efficiency. My gosh, this it's all over the place. This cannot be tolerated. Issue reprimands. Dispose of these operatives. Infiltration level changes by negative 10. I mean, if... I'm Honestly, I would dispose of them. Because if they're already... Like, skimming... I mean, they're... I mean, if we dispose of them, I mean, we gotta kill them. Let's be real. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I mean, what do we do? I'm at least send him back to, so we can put him in jail. I don't know. This seems bad. Survey speed. We're going to go with that there. Yep. Okay. So what are we doing here? Echo Auditore. Well, we can build a new building. I'm liking having, let's say, let's see, luxury residences, research labs. I mean, gosh, upkeep. We kind of... This is Echo Auditore? I mean, they don't really need a fortress. Maybe some civilian industries. We actually have nothing that's pushing consumer goods up, yeah? Time project, hold, hold, hold. Where are we at? Where's our ship? They're moving. They gotta get out there. Research projects in the system. Perfect. Do that. That's perfect. I love it. And then we got our guys going to be on the Zot. I mean, we really need to upgrade the fleet, but right now, how are we doing here with our upgrade, right? That's almost done. 14, 13, 12. We need to get this thing juiced up, right? Construction complete. All right, so we're talking about, let's hold for a second. We're going to build a shipyard. We're going to build that anchorage. We're going to get ourselves crew quarters, resource silos, communications jammers. Sublight speed minus 20% for hostile ships, combat disengagement chance minus 20%, or shield hit points minus 20%. I think disruption field generator. I mean, we're going, we're going balls to the wall here. We're going all out. We need defenses. We want the glass cannons, the best of the best. That's right. We're getting two glass cannons out there. My God. 
incredible. We're, we're going to have maybe a chance. <laughs> maybe a chance. You never know how this is going to go. We might have a chance, bunnies. Hold. Starbase construction complete. Great. Love it. John Tar. So he's doing nothing. Well, we can definitely build. We have enough to expand even farther. So let's tie this all together. Uh, we'll make ourselves a Starbase outpost. Can we do the same here? Nope. We're just short. Six alloy. Now we can. Great. Okay, so we're building two more. We're expanding even farther. Coming on out, our science vessel's ready to take on Krennis and get all of the goods out here. We have a special project, 12, 36 days left. Come on, guy. You can do it. I believe you. No photos, no pictures, no time like the present. Looky Lou, you gotta keep looking like no other arthropod has ever looked before. System survey complete. Oh, this is so exciting. My god, look at that survey getting underway. Gotta love it. And now we're gonna survey and survey back. Oh my gosh, look at the time. <laughs> See, we're just getting warmed up. That's right. Man, we're at least getting a star base that's doing stuff. We've got three new raider ships. My god. We've got the best arthropod on the job in the looky loo. No photos, no pictures. And they're gonna find, I don't know, incredible debris and incredible minerals. We've got 2.3k minerals right now. I mean, not bad. We defeated Emerald Roamers too. So overall, I'm I'm really, really I don't think we're necessarily gonna win against our former, I don't know, human encounters but overall not too shabby thanks so much for hanging out with me i'm really excited with how this is turning out we've survived longer than we ever have before <laughs> and i think we can survive a little bit longer yet so thank you again if you like the video and the series please feel free to like share and comment down below it all helps us out and i'll catch you on the next one have a good one bunnies